Hello! In this video, I'll show you how to use a timer and drum controller in Machine Expert Basic Software. The first step is to select the appropriate PLC in the configuration. Now let's take a look at this ladder. Suppose you want to create a system that advances steps after a certain interval of time. Now let's take a look at this ladder diagram. This contact represents a start push button. This contact, normally closed, represents a stop push button. Here we're having a control relay. In this case, I'm using a physical output channel. You may use a software internal relay as entering percent %M0 or higher. In the next rung, we have a timer. This is a timer on delay. The way the timer on delay works is that when the input is high, it will start timing. And once the timer is done, the output will then go high. This rung here contains the drum controller, also known as the sequencer. Now let's take a look at the properties of this drum controller. In this example, I have it going through four steps. This is a very handy function block that can save a lot of ladder. I can configure this drum controller by entering in the output channels. This can represent a motor or a light or whatever actuator that's connected to these output channels. At each step, I would select which output is going to be high. In this case, I have four steps. Once the user hits the push button, it will activate the output and latch it. This normally open contact will be closed. Two, activate that timer. Once the timing is done, it will then activate that output. Closing this normally open contact, advancing it to the next step. On the next scan, it will open this contact, therefore resetting the timer. This contact here is to reset the steps via manually. Now let's simulate this. Go to commissioning. If you do not have the equipment physically connected, you can launch the simulator here. Now I'm going to start the controller. Okay, now as you can see in this window below, this shows the status of the input and output channels. Now let's simulate this by forcing the contact on or off. This is a push button. I'm going to force on and off to see that it does indeed latch. Turns on the timer for five seconds. There are four steps, step zero to three. Once all the steps have gone through, the output will then be lit here and the sequence continues over and over. As you can see, as it's going through the steps, output 4 is lit on step 1. Step 2, 5 is on. And step 3, 6 is on. That corresponds to each of these four steps. Thank you for watching.